today I just came on to talk to y'all real quick about being a new mother. My opinion and my opinion only, okay? So what I want to say is when you are a first time mother, it's scary. It is scary and you just don't know what you're doing. I mean, you really don't unless you, you've already seen like your mom and the process or you've been taught how to be a first time mother, like how to put the pampers on, how to make the bottles, how to clean the bottles, how to clean the baby. I mean, it's a lot, but I'm going to tell you, it's most definitely worth it. Most definitely. That first child, baby. <laughs> my god the bond all of the things you guys learn together is awesome okay so first time mothers y'all most definitely need to be patient with yourself take time just to enjoy the pregnancy the baby shower all of the kind and helpful words that people will give to you just be in that moment Okay, so first time mommies, y'all going to hit sit back and just enjoy everything, especially the food, baby, because I promise you, I got four children and every pregnancy is different. My mother did tell me that every pregnancy is different. Ha, huh. she didn't lie about that. And mama said, if you have a baby, you will never sleep again meaning you will never sleep the way you did before you had a baby. Trust me, it's true, but the baby is worth it, okay? So, okay, the second child, if you have another child, the second child is a breeze. I mean, it's like nothing. Because you, you uh, have learned so much from the first child. So that second child, girl, you can just breeze right on through that. And I promise you the third and the fourth may be the same. And I say may be the same because my third and fourth are twins. So that third pregnancy, baby. Whoo! I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Honey, that's a lot of work. Multiple a lot of work the caring is hard the eating is hard the drinking is hard you know like you can't really hold anything down you really don't have an appetite and more than likely they may put you on bed rest which that's what they did to me but i ain't going no bed rest i got two other children so every time they told me i couldn't do something hmm, i still did it you feel me? Because I have two other children who are dependent on me and my husband, so I have to stay mobile, period. I mean, a woman got to do what a woman got to do. It ain't like I am the first woman to have twins. I mean, it's been people being born for trillions and trillions of years, just like people be dying, okay? Trillions and trillions of years and trillions and trillions of people. So, when they told me that I need to go on bed rest, I heard it and I didn't hear it because I was like, well, I don't know who's going to be cooking and washing the clothes and taking care of the other two. Who's going to be feeding my husband? True enough, he can do everything I just said, but he can't do it like me. So, I stayed up out that bed, baby. Yes, and I was humongous. I mean, I was a monster. Do you hear me? Who I could eat off my gut. But that was worth it too. Them twins, baby, because the first chip, the first child was eight pounds. The second child was eight eight, and then the twins was six one and five twelve. Okay, so I mean, it's like once you had that first one, can't nobody really tell you nothing because you know I know how this go down. That's what you're gonna be thinking. Like I know how this go down. I can handle this. It's nothing, and you really can. So, I'm going to say, don't punk out. Don't punk out thinking that, uh, oh, I'm tired, or I just can't do this. I don't want to do this no more. Well, who going to do it? 
You the mama, stay strong. We are queens, all of us women. We are queens. We have the womb to bring life. So we are going to hold it down. Stay in control of your mind. Don't let your mind control you. You control your mind and tell that thing, calm down, calm down. We got things to do. Okay, so being a parent is a beautiful, absolutely a beautiful thing. And I can't speak for this, being a grandparent is absolutely marvelous. Marvelous. It is totally a totally different relationship than your own children. You get a chance to actually sit back and enjoy the little person. Everything is not so routine, you know, so soldier. Everything is calm with the grandbaby. Because everything with my children was, okay, first one, get in the tub. Get out. Dry yourself off. Put your clothes on. Middle one. Let me go in here and help her out. You know, the second child. Let me go in here and help her out. Dry her off. Put her clothes on. Because the oldest one, she can maintain herself. The middle one, she still couldn't. She was three. The twins, babies. So it was like, I mean, like I had to have a schedule. And it, hey, I did that. I, I mean, me and God, baby, we did that, okay? Take them twins, bathe one, get her all dried up, powdered down, lotion down, all that. Put her clothes on and put her down wherever she's supposed to be, on the floor or the couch. You know, like if she's not a crawler yet, put her on the couch. Let her sister watch her. Okay, I'll take her back there with her daddy. Let him sit up and watch her. And he, ooh, he's such a good father. Such a good father. I mean, I looked up, but I prayed for this man. And I might make a video about that too. I mean, I literally wrapped my head up, got up early in the morning and prayed for this man. Me, 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 what we needed. Okay. I wasn't just, I just want a man. What we needed. Cause I knew I was going to be having children, baby. So what we needed was going to be a good father, a good husband, a good friend, a good all of that. Okay. God fearing man. But anyway, let me go on back and tell you that. And then when I got done with that first twin, I went on ahead and got that other twin, got her all cleaned up, lotion down, powdered up and all that hair combed, all that. Okay. And this was every day. My children had a bath every night before they went to bed. Never missed a night. So after we get to do our little routine, then it's my turn. Once they go to sleep, I get to go in the shower, baby, and take my time and, you know, take care of me. Okay, so as you are parenting, make for sure that you keep your mind maintained and make for sure that you do have a little bit of time for yourself. Okay, take just a little bit of time for yourself, but you want to get your children, children or child raised up in the best manner that you can. And what you don't know, ask an elder. Okay, you could ask the doctor if you trust the doctor's words. You can ask your grandma, your mom, um, your aunt, a good friend, her mom. Make for sure that you do get these children set out into this world good so they can have a good mind so they don't get caught up in this world. Okay, so make for sure you take time out for self so your mind is straight and that you can maintain your children. Make for sure that you do feed your children correctly. Start them off with vegetables and fruits. Let them eat healthy first, okay, before you start giving them sugar and salt. Try not to never give them sugar and salt because once you do, baby, when that hit that tongue, it's pretty much over. They're going to want it, especially that sugar. They're going to want it. So be careful on what you are feeding the babies because whatever feeds Whatever is going in their mouth feeds their blood and their brain. So make for sure that you do feed them babies right. They're so important. Oh my God. So important. They are literally the future. And teach them right. Don't wait for them to go to school before you start teaching them. Teach them as soon as they can start saying mama and daddy. Start teaching them words. You know what I'm saying? Teach them other words than just mama and daddy. And once they can start potty training and they know what no mean, most definitely start reading to them. Saying So start teaching your babies at a very early age. Don't wait for them to get into the school system. You hear me? The school system. 
dumb to teach your children. They're yours. You teach them. You can send them off to school and they'll learn just a little bit more. But when they come home from school, don't think it ends there. It never stops. So make for sure that you start teaching them at home. And that's whatever you want to teach your children. They are your children. Of course, God's first because he gave them to you for a little while, but they are yours. So whatever you they grow up to be, people will blame you for it. They'll be like, uh-uh, girl, look how, she, look how that boy is. Look how she raised him. I know she didn't raise him like that. Uh-uh. Girl, look at that girl. Ooh, what was her mama doing around her? Y'all know how people are? Mm -hmm. Y'all know. Because mm -hmm. we've all thought that. Like, Lord, have mercy. Now, I know that boy can do better than that. That don't make no sense. Like, what does she teach him? Lord, was his daddy even around? That kind of stuff, you know? And men do be around. We want to go on ahead and break that too. Because that is a lie. I hate when people say that, especially about black men, that black men are not involved in their children's lives. That is a lie. My daddy has always been married to my mother until he transitioned from this world, until death did them part, okay? Always had my daddy, woke up to my daddy, went to sleep to my daddy, okay? So I don't even know why people say that. And my husband has been here the whole time. You feel me? So, I don't even understand why people even say, well, I know why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not true. Okay? Black men are very involved in their children's lives. Even if they are not with the woman, most men want to be around their children. They want to see their children. You have to remember, those are, the children are that man's fruit. That is his seed. So why would he not want to unless something is wrong up here? Bloop. Okay, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get off that. And so the next thing is to most definitely teach your children how to clean themselves. Make for sure they know everything they need to know before they leave the house. Make sure the boys know how to cook and to clean as well as the girls. There is no difference because it is a boy. Okay? We all start off in the womb as what? A female. And then a boy's little pee pee grows and that makes them a male. Okay? So just know that everybody needs to know how to cook clean so maintain their own home. Everybody. Male and female. All right, y'all. I guess that will be it. Told you it wasn't going to be a long one. But I just had to throw some stuff out there. So any new mothers out here, congratulations. And I hope you guys be patient with yourself. Love on them babies. And just enjoy this short amount of time to let them grow. It ends so fast. You will be surprised. So y'all have a great evening, morning, night, day. Y'all have a good one. All right, y'all. Until the next one. Bye. Stuck in the past watching videos of us. I have been trying to get rid of your stuff.